Welcome to a Geography Sunset session. Today we're going to be focusing on a really important geographical skill, and that is how to interpret maps using four and six figure grid references. So grid references are used uh, for us to locate places on a map. Uh, and we can have our grid references be more general, so they can be four figure grid references, or they can be much more specific. And for that, we would use six figure grid references. And the only type of map that really uses four and six figure grid references is an OS map or a, an Ordnance Survey map. And they are an organization who are responsible for mapping the UK. And they've divided each part of the UK up into these grid squares. And you can see some examples of these grid squares on the right. But when we're fine making grid references to trying to reference a specific place or thing, we need to remember three things. The first thing, is that we always go along the corridor first. So the saying goes along the corridor and up the stairs. What I mean by that is uh, we always go along the corridor or find our eastings first. They're called eastings because they run east to west. So when we're given a grid reference, we're always going to be going uh, along the corridor or finding our easting first. So it could be 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04 and 0, 05. The next rule is once we've found our easting, we always find our northing. Or once we've been along the corridor, we always go up the stairs. So that's when we find our northing. It's called a northing because it runs north to south. So once we've found out whether our grid reference is going to start with 0, 01, 0, 02, 0, 03, 0, 04, etc., we then need to find out if it's going to end in 7, 7, 7, 8, 7, 9. So we go along the corridor and up the stairs. And the final bit is that we always take the bottom left hand corner. So let's say, for example, I'm interested in giving the four figure grid reference for this museum. Now, the box the museum is in, you can see it outlined in blue just here. So it's this blue one here. But I'm always interested in the bottom left corner of that box, not the top left, not the top right, not the bottom right, always the bottom left. So that's really important to remember the bottom left. So if I'm trying to find the museum, it's in this box. I know I'm interested in the bottom left corner. I'm interested in this corner. So then I just need to follow my rules. So for the four figure grid reference, I just need to go along the corridor. And I can see that the bottom left corner lines up with zero, 03. So the first part of my grid reference would be zero, 03. And then I need to go up the stairs and the bottom left corner aligns with seven, eight. That's where I'd stop. So then my four figure grid reference becomes zero, 03 seven, eight. So we're going to look at an example from a real exam. So this says, study figure three, uh, an ordnance survey map showing part of Liverpool, a city in the UK. And I'm just going to jump across, across the screen uh, so that you can fully see the question. I'm sorry, the maps are very uh, not uh, particularly clear. Um, but for the purposes of what we're going to do, we don't need it uh, to be that clear. So it says, give the four. Uh, so it says, study figure three, a uh, 1 to 25,000, that's just a scale, so every uh, centimetre uh, on this um, map represents 25,000 centimetres in real life. Ordnance Survey Map, so we know it uses grid lines, uh, showing part of Liverpool, a city in the UK. This area X and Y show two areas of urban regeneration. I can see area X and area Y just there. And it says, give the four-figure uh, four figure grid reference for the Albert Dock. So uh, the Albert Dock is a, is a tourist attraction. Uh, there's lots of shops and restaurants there. It's a very important old industrial dock in um, Liverpool. And I, you can see it represented by a star just here. So first, we're going to find the four figure grid reference. So when we talk about the four figure grid reference, remember, as long as we follow three rules, we'll be OK. We need to find the easting first, the northing uh, second, and those are for the bottom left corner. So if we have a look at the square, that this uh, is in. We can see this is the square here. So we want the bottom left corner. So we are looking for the four figure grid reference for this square here. Now, if I follow my rule, so go along the corridor, I have to stop at 34 because it's actually right in the corner or right on the line. So my start of my four figure grid reference would be three, four. Once we go along the corridor, we go up the stairs or find our northing. So if I go up the stairs, it's not eight, eight, but when I stop, it gets to eight, nine. So the four figure grid reference would be three, four, eight, nine. And if I just swap over to 
we go through the answers. Yep, the mark scheme says that 3489 is the correct grid reference. So that's how you do four figure grid references. Watch that back if you need to, have a practice. Um, and we're going to move on to six figure grid references. So six figure grid references are really helpful because as you can imagine, sometimes when we are, uh, ooh, how do I, there we go. Sometimes when we are referencing something, we don't want to reference the whole grid square. We actually want to reference the specific thing inside the square. And finding a six figure grid reference for a specific thing inside a square is exactly the same as a four figure grid reference. There's just a little extra step that we need to do. And that little, little extra step splits each square into a hundred little squares like this. So there's 10 along uh, your eastings and 10 along your northings. And you can see them here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way, 10 little squares. So every square is divided into uh, more smaller scale. So well, let's have a look at an example of how that works. So it says study figure six, a one to 50,000 ordnance survey map. So every centimeter on this map represents 50,000 centimeters in real life of an area to the east of Sheffield, a city in the UK. And it says using figure six, give the six figure grid reference for the center of the motorway junction. So if we have a look at uh, the map, we can see that the motorway junction is just here. And remembering our three rules, the bottom left corner is just here. But we're looking for a six figure grid reference. So we've got to find out where that extra number is going to come from. So that's the box we are interested in. And we've got to imagine that it's been split into 10 further smaller parts. So I know that I'm going to go along the corridor first, as always. So the first part of my um, grid reference, I'm looking for the bottom left corner. So I'm going to keep going all the way along till I get to the cross and it's 4-3. So the first part of my grid reference is 4-3. But then I need to turn that into a six figure grid reference and I need to add one extra number to this first part. And that's where our small boxes come in. So we can see that along here, we've got 10 small boxes. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You may need to imagine them yourself if you can't. I'm just going to take these away. So we've got ten. So what we really need to think to ourselves is how far along is the motorway junction? So first of all, it would help if we could see. So I'm just going to take away our small boxes. And there is our motorway junction. So I've got four, three. I just need to work out out of 10, how far along is it? So here's the start of my box. It's a little bit difficult to see on the screen. Here's the end. So the middle would probably be here. So that would be one out of five. So one, two, three, four, five. The middle would be about there. But it's not actually quite in the middle. It's not in line with that. It's probably, probably not four. That would be here. It's probably about three small boxes over. So one, two, three. But if I was to carry on, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'd say that my next number has got to be three. So my easting, four, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I'd probably say it's about three out of ten boxes across. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just going to do exactly the same thing going upwards. So this time I find my northing. So remember, I'm looking for the bottom left corner, which is this corner here. And I'll go up and the first two numbers are going to be eight, nine. That's my first part of my northing, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I've got to work out between this box, so eight, nine and 90, how many, uh, how many boxes I think it might be. So I think halfway would be there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. That'll be halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And my motorway junction is about here. Now that's not very far above the line. I would probably say maybe only two boxes. So I'm gonna go for eight, nine, two. Eight, nine, two. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'd say that's probably about two. It's quite low down. 
So 433892 is what I think the six figure grid reference is. We'll have a look at the answers. 43, there we go. That's the one. I'll make sure I shade the circle correctly and we'll check the answers against the mark scheme. Yep, so it says the answer is 433892. So once again, pause that back uh, and uh, re-listen if you need to. Uh, Six-figure grid references are a little bit more difficult than four-figure grid references. But as long as you can remember this diagram, or that each of uh, our boxes, even though you can't see them, is actually split into 100 little boxes with 10 this way and 10 this way, then that third number becomes a bit easier to work out. So this number and this number are all to just do to just to do with how many out of 10 how many little boxes do we think the specific thing we are trying to reference is uh, over. So what I want you to do now is uh, go away uh, to the assignment section of teams and have a go at the worksheet. Uh, on Swanage. So it's this map, as you can see, so it's no different to any of the ones you've been uh, seeing. It's got Eastings along the bottom, Northings along uh, the, or going up and down. Uh, and remember, whenever we are looking for a four figure grid reference, it's just the bottom left corner. When we're aiming for a six figure, it's exactly the same. So along the corridor for the first two numbers, then we've got to imagine our 10 small boxes for the third number, and then exactly the same on the Northing. So two figures, but then we've got to remember our 10 small boxes and see how far along out of 10 our item is. The document is three pages. Two of those are questions and one of those is answers or the final one is answers. So uh, don't look at the answers uh, because you really want to have an honest go at this to test your knowledge. So have a go at the first two pages first. Uh, take your time with them and rewatch the parts of the video that you need to. Then once you've done that, have a go uh, at marking your answers and see if you can work out uh, if you went wrong and if you did, why. That's it from me today. Uh, good luck with the worksheet. I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine.